Hello everybody and welcome to the Hills of Tuscany. Now, this is going to be a brand new series for me on the channel. Uh, we've still got our uh, No Man's Land survival going on. This is going to be something a little bit different. I, I saw this map on the mod hub and I thought it looked really interesting. So you can have a quick look here at the map. Uh, quite a good variation of fields and sizes and productions and things like that. So this is going to be a start from scratch series. So as the name implies, if you don't know already, start from scratch means that you start with $500,000 no machines, no land, and I believe you already have um, a loan that you have to pay off yet. So, oh no, there's no loan there yet. Yeah, maybe I read that wrong. But regardless, we have a little bit of money, um, no lands, no machines, and you start with $500,000. So basically, the only thing that I have done since starting is purchased three lands. So I've got these three here, field two, three, and six. Uh, so along with this map, they have added some more fruits as well. So this is spelt. I have no idea what spelt is. Um, if we have a look on here, it adds it adds alfalfa, rye, spelt, triticale, mile, and white grapes. So the three fields that I purchased, we have two spelt fields ready to harvest, and a uh, just a wheat field up here that's ready to harvest, I believe, as well. Yeah, it is. So, I don't know what spelt is. I don't even know whether you can bale it. Uh, so, this will be a learning curve for me as well. But we have these two little fields here ready to go, as well as field six up there ready to go. So, that's why I have 400 or just under $400,000. I spent the first 100 uh, just buying these fields. So, I'm pretty keen to uh, to get into these new uh new crops because i've never actually dealt with um rye or alfalfa or triticale or anything like that so it'll be interesting so given these are ready to harvest um i guess the first things first is to get in and harvest them so we don't own any of this farmland yet um i'm pretty sure this is quite expensive yeah that's over half a million dollars to buy this block of land with that field here which is field one so for a start with we're gonna have to um yeah work our way up get some harvest going do some contracts um trying to maximize our money as much as we can so first things first we'll be getting some sort of header to get us going um now obviously we're not going to be able to afford anything big so i've got some smaller ones here um I'm thinking maybe something like the the Massey Ferguson. Everything else is quite expensive. Uh, we do have this one, the New Holland, which is 50% off, which is really good. Uh, but it is still the $130,000, which is pretty well out of our budget for now. So we've got this Massey Ferguson. So we will probably get this set up. Uh, and all good to go. So we've got some options we can do here. Antenna. I don't want the antenna. Um, spreader. I want the chipper. Uh, I want the spreader. I do want. Oh, fuel tank. Nice. Okay, so $29,000 will get us our first header. And of course, we need a front to go with that as well. So we need to look for something, probably something like this, I would say. This probably fits on that one. So we'll buy this, already down to 360,000. So here we are in our brand new header. So I don't even know where the shop is. Where are we? I oh, up down here. So we'll pick this up, take it back to the fields. And we will get harvesting the uh, the new crops, which uh, not not even sure how they're priced. I have to have a look. Yeah, it's all exciting. I'm keen to get into it. Start from scratch. Let's get harvesting on day number one. Okay, back at the fields now with our new Massey Ferguson. 
So we'll get into harvesting these straight away. We will not wait at all. So it'll be interesting. Um, do I want to disable the straw swath? I'm going to say yes. Uh, because I want to save as much money as I can. Oh god, I want to do that. I want to save as much money as I can into um, to try and get sort of some sort of income straight away other than crops um, I was thinking thinking about what I want to do with this series um, whether than other than just focusing purely on cropping and things like that um, I might do some more productions and things like that uh, something that I'm not very uh, that I don't do a lot and I feel like it's this is probably a good map to do it in because the fields aren't massive we're not going to be getting a huge amount of income from crops uh, as on their or on their own a huge amount of income so I might do some more productions in this series but uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see um, and I'll do my best to cater for that so you can see this header doesn't hold a lot of um, doesn't hold a lot of produce so I will likely set a worker off doing this and I'm going to look at some sort of small tractor because I'll need some way to tip it so we've got this John Deere tractor it's 130 horsepower um, this is probably gonna be the way to go um, front fenders, I don't think we need front, we do, we will need a weight. Do we want a cab on it? Um, yeah, we'll put a cab on it. Uh, front end loader attachment, yeah, we'll chuck a John Deere front end attachment on it. Um, so we will buy this one, and then we'll need some sort of trailer as well for that. What sort of trailers have we got installed at the moment? Heaps of really big ones. I don't really want real big ones. Um, this is 8 meters squared. This is 1.6. I'm thinking this is probably going to be a bit, bit, be our best bet. I don't know if it actually um, will take our crops. I mean, it should. We'll just have a quick look here in case it doesn't come up. It should. It takes everything so yep there it is okay so we'll customize this um we'll chuck the white ties on it cover yes chuck a yellow top on it and we'll buy that so he's happy doing his thing we will grab our trailer and take it back to the farm okay nice little purchase for our farm this should keep us going for a little bit anyways so we'll head back and by the time we get back it's probably going to be time to unload the uh, the header it's not a not a big grain box on that thing so we'll start unloading them get on to the next step hopefully we can get these three fields finished and sold if I need to but I'll definitely need to definitely need to um, prepare a crop for the next sowing straight away uh, we are in August, so yeah, we'll get into the next sowing straight away. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. Good things to come. Okay, back at the farm. Looks like our work is done. We will jump out of this tractor. Um, I'm assuming the engine will turn off or should turn off. Uh, this has got 55% capacity first. 55% capacity. Okay, so we'll get on to... We'll just do the rest of this uh, manually. It's probably easier. Uh, we'll get the rest of this harvested and into the trailer and then we can move on to the wheat.
Okay, just finished up the harvest of the two fields. As you can see, I left the straw there in case we want to bale it up. I'm assuming we will, but um, I just wanted to keep the options open for what we want to do to try and get some money early on. So, we will empty this guy out and go and set a worker up in the other field in the wheat, which is just up the hill there. Uh, one thing you can notice with this map is it's, it's quite hilly. So, just to add a little bit more of a challenge uh, with horsepower on your tractors and things like that, you don't want to be getting stuck uh, on the sides of hills and things. So, just something else to, uh, to watch out for. So, we'll go and get this guy set up in the wheat. Uh, we'll probably... We'll leave the straw swath as is. So, we can have some more straw bales come in. Uh, we'll set this guy up and then we'll we'll go and see what's what that other crop sells for. I've already forgotten what it is. Um, yeah, this series is going to go good if I keep forgetting things like that. But we will set this guy up on a worker. Um, there's a big hole there, you can see. So, um, you haven't completed your task. Go there. Hi, worker. Beautiful. Okay. So, let me see what the prices are like for this. Now, I can't remember what it is. Spelt, that's what it is. So, currently 800. A58 at the cereals. Um, I, I'm gonna, I, I don't really have the time to be waiting unless I can put the whole wheat crop um, in the header, which I honestly highly doubt. But what we will do is we'll just wait a little bit. Um, I need to look at some sort of... Look at getting some sort of baler. Um, all these are massive. Uh, that could work. The vernier. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be our best bet. So, 56,000 will buy this guy. Uh, we'll also need to get some net wrap for this guy, which is... Where is it? Somewhere in here. Aha, here we go. So, we want to go... I think I like the black. The black looks good. So, we will drop our trailer right there. And so we'll go back to the store, pick up the baler, load up with net wrap, and then we will go from there. Start baling. I don't know how I'm gonna transport the bales just yet. I'll need to get some sort of trailer for that. Uh, but for now, we can get them bailed up, and we can go from there. So I'll see you guys at the store. There we go, you can see our shiny new baler sitting there next to the net wrap. So we will hook on. Uh, our worker's got 80% grain tank, which uh, is not great. So we'll refill the net wrap. I'm sure the storeman won't mind if we leave a, a pallet of net wrap sitting there. It doesn't look too busy around here, so we'll leave the net wrap there for a minute until we uh, have a means of transporting it but for now I'm sure he's happy with that okay got our net wrap got our baler uh, I think I'm gonna have to start paying for delivery on these machines um, it's quite a long way to the store back to the farm so for the sake of not losing time especially early on when we're trying to trying to get some things done um, I might might talk to the store owner and see if he can start uh, delivering the machines for me because it's uh, yeah quite a trek back to the farm from here so we'll get back to the farm and start bailing we'll see how the uh, how the head is looking we might have to empty out the trailer sell that somewhere before we get onto the wheat 
But for now, we've got our shiny new baler ready to go. Okay, back at the farm now, ready to start some baling. The, uh, the header is full, so we'll check over. Uh, he's still got about half the field to go. So I'm probably going to have to empty the trailer. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll start baling first, and then we'll go and mess around with the, the trailer and things like that. So am I going to do the little bales, the little... 1.25 meter ones. Uh, we don't need to worry about big bales and I when I get some um, forks for this I want it to actually be able to lift it. So let's pick it up. Let's get this baling done. Our first bales of the farm. It's gonna be good. Okay just picking up the last of it now. As expected, we didn't get too many bales. I think uh, one, two, three, four, five, five bales for the two fields. So not heaps, but um, for fields that haven't been prepared at all, I think that's uh, pretty all right. So I'm going to pick up this trailer and I'm going to sell what is in it because we don't have another trailer. So, I need to look at prices for spelt um, 866 at resale cereals. Um, that is. Where is that? Resale cereals. Down there. Okay, we're going to take this down to the cereals and sell what we got, and that'll be the first sort of income that we have from the farm. So the price isn't it as good as what it could be, but uh, yeah, we have no silo and we need to empty the trailer so we can get the wheat into there. So we'll head over and sell what we got. Okay, here it is here. Um, they didn't leave the gate open for me, so I just need to open the gate and head on in. I wonder if the way bridge works. Um, I'm assuming that's a yes. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, so we need to go around the back side of it. So that'll be... Is this it here? I'm going to say yes. So we'll unload the spelt here. See what sort of income we get. Should be decent, I think. Okay, so $5,170 for the first harvest income. Not too bad, considering uh, what the crop actually is. So, we will head back and unload the header with what wheat we've got in there. Uh, we could probably leave the wheat in the trailer until the prices get better. I know that... Um, they're not great in August. So we'll unload the header, finish that field, bale it up, and then I'll need to look at some sort of bale trailer to start storing some of these bales from when I need to sell them or use them for some sort of feed. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, header is unloaded. Uh, while he's doing that, I will just leave the trailer over here on the side of the road. Not ideal, but that's where it's going. And we will go and grab the baler and we will start baling the straw that the header is producing. So we can start to, uh, yeah, start to get a stockpile of when we need it. Should already be some straw left in the baler from the fields of spelt. Yeah, 62%. So we nearly got a bale for free, essentially. So we'll go up to the field and start baling what we got. Okay. Turn on the baler. Lower the pickup. 
And let's get into it. Bail what we can behind the header. Okay, baling is all done. Got uh, yeah, quite a few bales out of that one, which is good. So the trailer's full. We still have 25% in the header. Uh, there is a little bit over here that I just want to pick up that the uh, the AI missed, the AI missed. And then we can take this back to the farm, and we can just leave it in the yard. Until we uh, till we get rid of till we get rid of the wheat when the prices are a bit better. Um, I'll have to double check when prices are good, but I know it's not great right now. Okay, so we'll take this back to the farm. We'll jump in the tractor, and then we'll look at some sort of bale trailer to uh, pick up all the bales. Okay, so I've gone and picked up this uh, flatbed trailer. It's quite big, uh, bigger than the tractor. It might be a little bit of overkill for what we need, but for the sake of having something to store our bales on, um, I think it's going to be a good addition to the farm at the moment. So we will go around and pick up all of our ram round bales that we have produced and get them off the field so we can get on to oh don't hit them so we can get on to preparation for the next seeding and getting the fields up to scratch the uh, the yields were not great um, but yeah it's something we'll have to work on yeah we'll fly around pick up all the bales and put them into storage okay all the bales are picked up we have a total of 13 straw bales so that'll do good for the time that we need to sell them um, I can have a look at the moment and just see what straw is selling for um, again in January it doesn't really sell for much um, I'd be more likely to uh, put it towards something else some sort of production to get some uh, yeah, some more some more money out of it but for now I believe that's gonna do it for this first episode so we got a good little start going we got our got our harvest done we are ready for preparation uh, we can't really do much this time of year we've got to wait until later on before we can um, do some more cropping and things but I do have some big plans for this series as mentioned earlier I want to get some more productions going I I really think this map could do really good with productions uh, there are already some productions that are on the map so if I visit this place over here all of these orchards and greenhouses and things like that you can buy these and set them up to already produce stuff for you so could be something we look into if not we can do something of our own in terms of greenhouses to get us started uh, but for now, I believe that we are pretty happy with how we've started. I do like this map quite a lot. It uh, It's something different. Sometimes I think the farming simulator can be uh, quite the same, just rinse and repeat things, but new maps uh, provide a, a bit, of, uh, bit of variety to the game. So, 
I think that's going to do it for episode 1 of this series. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the new episodes coming out at the moment. Uh, we still have No Man's Land going on if you guys want to go and check out that. Uh, we've got some big things coming in that series as well. And leave a comment down below with an emoji that represents your idea of hills. So whether you like hills or don't like them or whether you like the way they look, uh, let me know down below for the sake of engagement. Until next time, goodbye for now.